Hey guys, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com out here on a huge windy day. Muddy El Dorado Lake, which you guys are always used to. It's a little muddier than normal. We've had some rain and a hell of a lot of high winds. Imagine that. We're in Kansas. So, we've been doing a little bit of uh, seeing and reading on some online forums, and guys have been basically saying that they've noticed that their live scope works better on like 12 volt, or excuse me, 24 volts versus 12. So, we thought we'd do a little video here. I've got a couple batteries here wired up with 24 volts and a rod locker here and we'll show you all that stuff here in a second but what we wanted to go over is do kind of a side-by-side -side comparison on live scope 12 versus 24 volts now what we mean by this i want to to really make this clear so you guys don't burn up units this is not unit related 12 versus 24 volts so do not supply 24 volts to your ultra echo map or your gps map or any unit that you're using with live scope this is for the gls brain box itself so we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison we will show it on 12 volts first we have it wired up just like i do it's my tournament rig here one battery going to it currently right now take a look at the screen it's on perspective mode mount we're anchored out here, or power pulled down. It is windy and it is shallow water, so please keep those in mind. But I want to show a real world side by side comparison, let you guys be the judge as to which one you think is better 12 volts or 24. So let's check it out first with 12 volts on perspective. Then we'll go into our forward view, let that run for a couple seconds, and then we'll instantly jump over into 24 volts and we'll put them side by side so you guys can compare for yourself. Let us know. So 12 volts, here we go. All right, guys, so you saw us here. We've got our perspective mode mount and our forward view mount. We just did those in 12 volts. I'm gonna open up the rod locker here, show you guys hooking up two 12 volt batteries for 24 volts, going to the actual GLS box itself. And then we're gonna re-record this in 24. Again, pair them up side by side. You guys be the judge. So there you've got it. We've got perspective and forward view. Let's go check it out here. You can see here, got two 12 volt batteries. I do have them wired up right here for 24 volts. So we got negative positive and the negative positive. So coming off here, I'm going to disconnect our 12 volt here and plug this in for 24. Restart the pan optics here and see which one uh, looks better here, 12 or 24 volts. All right, 12 volts disconnected. Mm. All right. There we go. Now we are on 24 volts. So let's take a look at the screen, see what you guys think. All right, guys, so you just saw our comparison of our 12 volt versus 24 volt GLS box Panoptics live scope comparison side by side. Um, I'll be 100% honest, I don't see any difference at all in terms of clarity 
All the settings were identical on everything. Check the video out. We'll let you guys do your own synopsis. Um, I do kind of have a theory or hypothesis behind why some people could or would see a difference. And I really think a big thing behind that comes back to what we always kind of preach, the installation. So if you guys aren't setting yourself up for success, it could lead to potential problems down the road. What I think is guys that aren't using 10 gauge or bigger wire running from a dedicated correct size battery, 31 AGM or at least a 31 battery, you're not getting the correct amount of voltage or amperage to the GLS box. That's why you're seeing a difference in a 24 volt version versus a 12 volt version. Again, I don't see a comparison difference on my boat at all. I mean, they look absolutely identical to me. So I personally wouldn't say or recommend waste your time, buy a second battery, hook it up for 24 volt just for your live scope system. I don't see a damn difference at all. I don't think at this point, waste your money, waste your time at all with doing it. So for you guys out there that may have benefited seeing a little bit of difference, I would recheck your wiring, make sure you got uh, dedicated 10 gauge tinned marine grade wire running from the back all the way to where you got your GLX box motor. So remember guys, if you like these videos, like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel here. As always, you can reach out to us at 316-313-4113 or sales at russellmarineproducts.com. Thanks guys. Oh, my God.